What's up guys, welcome back. So today, um, I'm gonna install these new interior lights in the car. As you guys know, mine are red inside. And um, I got these right here. These are um, two for, these two are for the um, front and back. And then this is for the glove box. And I'm, like I said, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change them from the car just because You guys can see it is red. What the hell? Look, that one's off. Oof, bottom in the right time. That one's on. So I'm gonna replace these just because I don't think it really brings justice to the uh, carbon fiber, you know, to make it shine as it's supposed to. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but um, yeah, I got them in warm white. Everyone else does like the 600K uh, bright white or uh, just a very bright bright white and um, I got warm white I searched in um, YouTube and I didn't find anyone else that has these so hopefully this helps anyone who's kind of interested in seeing what the warm light color will look like hopefully it's not yellow but I just want to make that interior pop out a little bit so let's see how this goes guys real quick I got my pry tools right here you will need some pry tools to make this work guys just so you guys know I'm gonna let you guys know how to remove the front and back ones in a minute guys but you guys will need pry tools for the lighting but I need light in here so also what you guys will need is you guys will need some tape uh, because sometimes the bulbs in here are kind of like kind of like in a little like um pocket so you might need the tape to tape around it and just to pull it out or you can even use zip ties to like make it you know loop it and then pull it off um like i said you will need your pry tools um to pop them off so first things first guys i'm gonna go ahead and take this off okay guys so i popped it out so what you guys are gonna need to do is get your pry tool and you're gonna pry like right around here right where the plus is at or the Oh, let me focus right where you turn it on right here where it clicks in right here you'll just grab it and pop it out it's pretty hard like you might feel like you might you might break it but don't worry you'll be good so you'll do that to this one and this one hardest part for me is putting them back on but um yeah pry it out from oh see it's about to go back in ah, see here we go so just pry it out from this top corner and then um yeah you guys should be good okay guys so i put the new one on there's the obviously the new one this is the old one right here like i said i use tape to circle around it and then pull it out and then you just plug it in right back where it goes the new one and you guys will be good um now i need to do that side and then i'm gonna put them back together okay guys so i was taking off this side and put tape around it but it kind of just fell out um but the, it was working so so yeah also if you can take them out and put them on without taking it off completely i highly recommend because to me like i said it's difficult putting these back on that way you can just push it back on when um it's all said and done guys but if you can leave it like that okay guys and the reason this is hard is because these two clips focus they're not parallel so you kind of have to get them at an angle and then on top of that you got to make sure it clips up here so it's kind of easier said than done but um, i already put that one on you know just because i didn't took it off take it off all the way so uh let me go ahead and put this one back on okay guys so that light is still not on i haven't put it on right it's really annoying man it's been like 25 minutes and i'm <sighs> i'm frustrated and mad now so i'm gonna pass on that and I'm gonna start working in the glove box so you guys can see, I doubt it, maybe. Yeah, this is the light. You have to put tape around it, pull it out, and put the new one back in. It's kind of difficult because you cannot see. But yeah, guys, that's basically all you do. It put in the light in the glove box, but it just does not come on. It 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 worked with the OEM one, put the red one on, it worked for a little bit, but then after that it stopped working and this one doesn't work at all, so Maybe something's wrong with one of the harnesses in there that provided power, but I'm going to have to check on that. Hopefully, there's nothing wrong with it, but now I'm going to get started on the back right here and swap these out. Okay, guys. So, for this, you're going to have to take this clip off right here. It will 
right there. I messed it up from last time I did it. Goes in here, just pry it out, and then that's about it. Then in here, you're gonna have to take this bolt off. Bolt it, both of these, so then we can, both sides, so we can take this off. Okay guys, it is off. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna unclip this uh, this housing from uh, the where you grab where you put your hand on here here and two on the back You're gonna unclip it so that way you, you guys just have this piece hanging. So right here the housing Was like this. Okay, that's the button right there You're gonna pry from here and this is gonna come off and then you'll be able to remove this and put the new one in Okay guys, so it does work now just to replace everything and put it back how it was and then I am going to do that side right there. Also guys, make sure you guys check. Well, first turn them off. Turn them off because then the lights get hot and then it's gonna be hard for you to take them out. And then after that, after you put the new ones on, turn it on from the little dial right there to make sure that the lights are functioning because you don't want to put them on and put, them, put the whole um, thing back on and then they don't work and you have to take it off again. So make sure you test them, make sure they work. Um, but yeah, guys. Okay, so they're all installed except for this one right here. Um, I'll probably mess with it for like two, two minutes if I can't get it. Uh, I'll do it whenever like I can because this is annoying, bro. The, these are annoying. These are like the worst ones. So everything's on. Those are on. The one back there is also on. So I'm going to give you guys a, a little quick shot of like nighttime so you guys can see how it looks in the dark let me roll up the windows real quick all right so with the windows up i mean I'll, so far i like it it's a little bit it's brighter than the um obviously than the red but now with the carbon fiber it does make it pop a bit more this is more on the low side if you really want to make it pop then you guys can go ahead and get the um the highest i don't know what's the highest one they offer but um you guys can get the top tier one this is the warm light i'll put it in the description below so you guys can see what i'm talking about um but yeah they um they're not in your face bright that's why they don't want the other ones because when they turn on they're like really in your face and i don't like that so this one has like a more yellowish tinge than than that one i don't know why i'll check it out later but um yeah it does help out with the carbon just a little bit um you know what I'm saying? So it's not nothing too crazy. Just to change up the lighting since I also got uh, the SRT. That way it can match a little bit. But um, yeah, guys, so that would be it. Also, okay, so I know I have a check engine light right now. But uh, if you guys saw my last video, which I posted on the 6th of uh, uh, June 6th, um, of me getting stranded because the car overheated. So I still had the the check engine light. It is gone now, which was one day later. It is gone. I think it just cycles through and kind of gets any air that got trapped from replacing it out the system. That's why I had the check engine light. Everything's good. Cooling's good. It's not overheating anymore, which is great. But yeah, guys, swap the lights out. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little walk around uh, when it's fully dark, and then um, yeah, guys, that's basically it also guys real quick the glove light or glove box light does not come on i do not know why and honestly these lights don't come on unless either a the door is open or b i push this little roller right here and then they they'll open they'll turn on off on okay if i open the door they turn on but if i push the button they don't come on so that goes for the back as well i do not know why i don't really mind it because i'll just use the roller anyway and i'll turn all of them on so it's not really a big deal but if it is to you then yeah i don't know why like i don't know why that has an issue as well i don't know why none of them push and turn on um when i got my starlights done i did notice that some of the stuff kind of stopped working so that's maybe why the glove box stopped working and same thing with this. I'm not saying anything on the guy because starlights are better than the lighting in general. But um, yeah, so I don't know what's up with that. Also, also, what was it? Yeah. So the also guys, the vanity mirrors. 
they don't come on they do not work so ever since i got the star lights installed they do not work see lights are on those are not on don't they don't cut on whether it's open or closed so they do not work at all i don't care i don't mind i don't use these anyway but um but yeah i think the guy kind of installed it a little wrong or didn't install it back together the right way but yeah my vanities don't work glove box don't work and these only work when i turn them all on or when someone opens the door other than that they will stay off the whole time okay guys and this is how the car looks when it's pitch uh black outside so it's completely dark so you can see everything i know i don't have like uh before or after but you can see a lot inside but this is with the windows down and this is a five percent tint okay so you can't see inside obviously not as much with uh, when i had my red lights but you can see inside with uh, with the windows up a lot from the front uh but this is how it looks when it's completely dark i'm in the garage right now but I'm not gonna lie guys um i don't know i think it's is a little bit too bright but this is the warm light so if you got some of the brighter ones man i don't know how you guys can do that man like i don't know man i can't do i can't look i low-key can't do these lights i don't want to go back to red though so i don't know what i what i could do or what what color i should get and um yeah, but this is how the uh, the car looks with uh, in the uh, with the lights on. Um, so the car looks with the windows up, five percent tint, and windows down uh, when it's pretty dark. If you're in public, like I'm in the garage right now, but if you guys are in public, um, it's not gonna be as noticeable because there's other lights, you know, around. But for me, this is pretty bright, you know. Um, I know it's they're off, but. Uh, yeah it's it's still pretty bright like it lights up the carbon fiber really nice you know what i'm saying but like i don't know i think it's um uh, i don't want to go back to red but i don't know what i should get and whoever got these lights in the like the max brightness man i don't know how you do because sitting from this angle right here you can kind of see that glare from the the um, the light and it kind of bugs me you know so i don't know i need to find a new color not for me this is the warm light from diode dynamics so if you're like me don't get these but i don't know what my next option is maybe blue or purple i don't know guys that is the end of the video make sure you guys like and subscribe guys uh i'll see you guys in the next one